Temperatures will be shooting up into the triple digits. Of course, this could be dangerous to both pocketbooks and your health. Metro Health has issued a level two heat advisory warning that the heat index could surpass 108 degrees. Although air conditioning is more of a necessity during the next couple of days, CPS Energy is advising customers on the best practices at home to conserve energy. Alicia Barrera brings us tips on how to stay cool and save money. It's the sound of summer. Your AC starting up to keep you cool, but during a heat advisory, energy companies recommend you be more mindful of your energy consumption. Uh, we're just looking to save customers money, right? I mean, it's going to be hot. Uh, the demand for electricity around the whole city is going to be high, especially between the hours of 3 and 7 p.m. Uh, a lot of people are going to be getting home from work. When you're home, CPS Energy suggests 78 degrees will keep you cool and save you money. If you're trying to do more than 20 degrees outside of what the actual temperature is, then your AC just has to work extra hard and basically it never turns off. When you leave, consider bumping up your thermostat up a few degrees. Honestly, every degree that you bump it up makes actually a pretty big difference in terms of how hard it has to work to cool your home. Your bathroom could also save you money. Avoid using the vent fan, which uses electricity and sucks in hot air from the outside. Some of the factors we don't always consider that affect the temperature inside our homes are the use of your stovetop as well as the ovens, so be sure to keep those closed. Double check that your doors are completely closed and your blinds shut to block the sun. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. The Salvation Army is hoping to help the homeless beat the heat. At 4 this afternoon, they will be giving out cold bottled water, snow cones, and toiletries. This will be in the area near Frio and Houston Street, just west of downtown. Anyone interested, look for the Salvation Army canteen truck. Anyone who wants to help can donate things like towels, hygiene items, and clothes to the emergency family shelter at 515 West Elmira.